This is Paul. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, verse 17. Yes. For it is better, if the will of God be so, that ye suffer for well-doing than for evil-doing. Yes. <laughs> For Christ ha also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, <laughs> that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit, <laughs> by which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison, <laughs> which sometimes were disobedient, <laughs> when once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah while the ark was a preparing. <laughs> wherein few, that is, eight souls were saved by water. <laughs> now, this idea of um, Christ, yes, <laughs> preaching to those that were um, in prison, yes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. preached unto the spirits, uh -huh. in prison, yeah. <laughs> now, I don't know exactly what was preached while in Hades or hell, yes, but let's say that you wanted to know. <laughs> You wanted to know all your deceased loved ones. Yes. And you thought for sure they didn't go to hell. No. They didn't go to heaven because <laughs> there's this idea of talking to somebody that's deceased that has actually gone to heaven. <laughs> You're almost sure that they're there. <laughs> and uh, you start talking to them as if they're right there next to you. Yes, yes, yes. Of those that believe their deceased loved ones are available to them for counseling, yes, advice, <laughs> I just wonder exactly what spirit you're hearing from, because of all the relatives that I have that have died, yes, I don't think any of them can actually communicate with me. <laughs> now, some of them could have gone to hell. I don't know which ones of them did, because I don't know who went to hell. <laughs> And some of them could have gone to heaven. <laughs> and I don't know which ones of them did. But I don't talk to deceased loved ones that have passed on before myself. <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> but let's say you keep calling one of these individuals that is dead. <laughs> you could have a small fetish of liking to make love to your deceased loved ones. <laughs> Now, it's difficult to accept the actual death of somebody that you no longer can communicate with. <laughs> I realize the importance of loving those that uh, are your family. Yes, I happen to have five sons that I haven't been able to talk to. Yes, <laughs> for the last seven and a half years because of the fraud of this county. <laughs> and then there's this woman, Marilyn Van Proyen. <laughs> I haven't seen her for years. <laughs> a lot of people keep mentioning, well, why do you mention Marilyn in these different videos? And I'd like to speak to her. <laughs> I'd like to have a little talk with her about exactly who it is in her family <clears throat> that happens to be dead that <laughs> her relatives keep calling. <laughs> now, this idea, yeah. You were talking to the, your native ancestors. Well, good for you. <laughs> Maybe in your religion they're not dead. No, they live with you forever and ever and ever. <laughs> but in my religion, when you die, you are no longer accessible. <laughs> you either went to hell or you went to heaven. <laughs> and in both locations, I do not have it available to have a conversation with you right now. <laughs> <laughs>